in their production of the Bodyguard <laughs> musical. The show currently at the Palace Theatre in Manchester has had to take drastic steps in banning singing after complaints <laughs> of attendees drowning out the performers. Staff are taking this very, very seriously and inflicting these rules. Uh, they are regularly walking up and down the aisles before the performance and during the interval with no great. singing signs. I mean, I can't believe it. I, I'd be devastated. I'm not even going to go to that show now. the point of going to a musical that you know that yeah. you sing along to all the bits you know and then of when course. you don't know the words you just make them up. I mean, isn't that what everybody does very, very loudly while eating an ice cream? Here's the, the thing. They're point. singing along yeah. and they're singing along, right? Yeah. No one minds someone that the next two just like singing the words themselves. <laughs> you know, we're in this together. <laughs> I've paid money to see Pussycat Doll member Melody Thornton as character Rachel Maron. I would not want someone just like with a cat's chorus next to me drowning her out. Oh, oh, that's a bit spoiled. No. Nick Ferrari, back me up on this. I'm abs no, I'm absolutely with you, and I don't know oh. what the prices are at the Palace Theatre. I've been there; it's a tremendous theatre, uh, but I, I imagine it's going to be fairly expensive. Certainly in London, it's 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 an expensive. You know, you're absolutely right. You've paid to see the stars perform, oh, not a couple of old drunks or whoever might have come in or whoever <laughs> suddenly decided to come. I mean, I, I can assure you, if I start, my singing is so bad, I was banned from singing at my own wedding. That's how bad I was. <laughs> So I could certainly clear a theatre. No, I'm absolutely with you, Dermot. We don't want other people. We pay to see the star sing. Let her, him, them sing. Oh, yes. true. I'm true. I'm sure you pay for your seat. That entitles you to you sing every you, song you know. You, and also the songs you don't know because of your so enthusiastic because you like it. There is nothing worse than, like, I, I'll... Like, I can abide people singing along. And I, 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 to be honest, I don't really mind it, as long as they're not too loud. Yeah. People are singing the wrong words for the song. <laughs> Listen, you're in the groove, you'll sing any old words. Who cares? I went to sing Wicked the other day, and there was absolutely no way. There was that moment where she's flying, she's singing Defying Gravity. Yeah. And did you really expect me not to go, Defying Gravity? Yeah. I exactly. Not I don't expect well, you not to do it, no. Can I just reveal to you all, I was once at a celebrity night, of Phantom of the Opera, Vanessa, where it was there as well. But she was singing from Les Miserables. That was the truth. She had the wrong show. You enjoyed it, though. You enjoyed it. Just added to the richness of the experience. Bye right. Maybe I'm naive, but I didn't think this whole Manchester musical thing would get this deep. But Alison Hammond has issued a public apology, guys, for what you just saw her say in that clip. Because of what she said, she actually went on Twitter and issued a statement saying, I'm sorry that I said on Wednesday's edition of This Morning that it's okay to sing during musicals in light of what I've seen happening in Manchester. So it really has got that serious. It's very rare I find myself agreeing wholeheartedly with Nick Ferrari, but he makes some good points there. And I do think that Dermot has the right idea too. I don't quite understand why in this particular segment, Alison and Vanessa think for some reason that when you pay your ticket money to go and see a musical, that it gives you a sort of right to just sing over everyone, even if they don't want you to. I'm pretty sure most people who buy tickets to musicals don't think in the back of their head, I'm paying, what, 50 to 100 pounds for this ticket, not just to see the musical and see some singers I like sing, but also to sing over them and interrupt them while they perform. I'm pretty sure that's not how the mindset of most people sing. I do wonder though, you know, how far could you take that argument? I mean, would you expect people to buy tickets for the opera and then get up during a famous opera like Madame Butterfly and just interject with their own version of a particular aria or whatever? I, I don't think so, I hope not. Having said that, I do think if you're going to a concert to see a pop star or a singer-songwriter or whatever you like and it's an outdoor concert, I don't think singing along in that particular context is bad. It can be annoying, but I've always thought, well, when you go to a concert like that, it's the kind of price you pay. You don't know who you're going to be with and I'm sure you've been to concerts where people have been very drunk or very high and they don't quite know what they're doing and they're a little bit mad and crazy and I just think, well, it's a concert, there's several thousand of us in this field, I can always move to another part of the field if I want to. But if you've booked a ticket at a theatre and you're sitting in a certain seat and it's sold out, you can't just get up and move and sit where you want. That privilege is not there. So I think it's a very different experience in a theatre. And I do think it's not what you go there for. And it can be really annoying. I mean, really, really annoying. I mean, that singing we heard 
is really annoying. So Alison was definitely wrong here, but whether she should have had to go to the extent of issuing a public apology, I'm not too sure.